video to show you guys how to beat the brake system in a vintage VW buggy bug doom buggy beetle and so on most of them have the same most of them have the same brake setup master cylinder with all new lines I actually ran back line right where the fuel hose fuel connection comes out this way it's not sitting usually over here along the floor and I got the stainless steel going to the drums. The back line comes out right here with the T. Stainless steel to the back. What I did is I doubled up on the stainless steel. So I have it going all the way through. My bottle's already set up right back there. I'll show you guys what that's for. So this is a one person job. Usually it's good to have somebody to help you. Once you pump the brakes. I already pumped in a little bit. Usually it takes about a minute or so to 30 or so pumps to get the resistance. I already got the resistance. So what I'll do now is take my bungee, connect it to the steering column in this case. Well, the steering adapter. Wrap it around, brake pedal. So now I got, got a lock. The reason for this is when you release the fluid in the back, you don't want air coming back in. You start with the back wheel first, passenger, passenger side, then you move on to the driver's side passenger, the passenger front, and you finish off with the driver's side. So once I have the brake pumped and then tight back I release it I should be getting minimal air bubbles coming out of the hose into the bottle with the brake fluid at this point as I did this about three times so I'm gonna release it up top use a seven millimeter or eight millimeter wrench and this one they would not fit so I just clamped it the hose is connected with a zip tie right here so it doesn't slip off I actually had it longer the first time I shortened it because no reason to have it going all the way to the ground so now I'm gonna release it and hopefully there's no bubbles No bubbles came out this time. It's a good sign. That means this one is done. Tighten it back up. At this point, I can remove this setup. I already bled the rear passenger side. Um, in the first video, that's the first one you go with. Second one you go with the driver side rear, which we're gonna do now. The bottle setup is ready. So you pump the, make sure your master cylinder reservoir is full. You will refill that a few times as you continue to bleed each side. Initial side took me about 30, 60 something pumps before I got resistance. This one, I'm already getting good resistance, so I can tighten up. Probably because after doing the first wheel, the rest will be go a lot smoother. So this is my Pat and Pendy bungee brake holding design. Just kidding, I don't need any lawsuits. Got the brake pulled forward just so we don't get any air back in the line. So when we release it, my back drums take seven millimeter wrenches, which I don't have on hand. So I'm going with the vice grip setup. Got a zip tie on the hose and the bleeder valve to make sure no air gets in there. The bottle with the brake fluid and submerged hose just in case you do suck back up anything. It sucks the fluid and that air into the lines. So you should have no 
air bubbles at this point as I did this once already. So let's release it. And perfect, no bubbles. This wheel is ready. We can tighten this back up. Remove it. Next, we move on to the front passenger side wheel. At which point, we'll be almost done. That's all we'll have to do with the driver's side. And the brake system should be working perfectly. Quick overview of the engine. Wrapped it up with the lava header wraps. For look, some protection. All buffed out and cleaned up. Replaced a few parts. Next up, we'll be wiring this guy up. I'll try to make a video of the wire setup as I hear. Buggies are not the easiest thing to work with when it comes to wiring it up. Here, we're gonna do our third drum now for the VW Vintage Buggy uh, brake bleeding yeah. setup <laughs> thing. Hi. Now I got help from my son Alex. This is the team that's been building this buggy for the past two months instead of enjoying it in the summer. Hi. Alex now can pump the brakes for me instead of me using the bungee setup to hold it down with the as I did with the rear wheels. So we did the nice. back, both sides, all nice and glad, no air bubbles. Now we're going with the passenger side front and then driver's side and we're done. Can I start pumping? So let's see if we have fluid. I'm good with the fluid. We still have a little bit of this beautiful German brake fluid left. Do we have any left? Yeah, there's about half a can. So, give it a pump, Alex. It shouldn't be that easy anymore. How many? Just one? Just see what you got. It's hard. Yeah, good. That's what we want. It's full resistance now because the line should be full with brake fluid at this point. Alright, hold it down for me. Push it all the way down. You got it? Use two hands if you need to. You got it? Yeah. Alright. What I'm gonna do is now I'm actually able to use one of the wrenches I had handy. I had to improvise and change the hose as the thicker one is too big for the front brake uh, brake uh, drain thingies. Mm -hmm. So I just ran it right through the thick hose and I got the same setup here. If we have bubbles, that means we gotta keep pumping. So let's release it. Why would you release it? To let the air out. Yeah. And one of the these little screws, I had to actually use WD-40 to loosen it up because it would not move. So that's a good idea to check that first. All right, we got it going. Bubbles. Oh, it's getting softer. Yeah? Oh, that's a lot. I'm going in She don't even know it's why there's foam, but we'll keep pumping Wait, until. Can I go? Tighten it back up. Hold it, buddy. Oh, You're still holding it, right? It's going through now. Alright, pump it. Oh, it's loose. Nice. Slow, buddy. You don't have to go that fast. Push, let it go all the way back so we get a nice good pump. There you go. Right, is it getting more resistance? Yeah. Good. Okay. Hold it down for me again. Let's try to bleed it again. You notice I have a zip tie on the hose as they all slip off. Still got some bubbles, but it's getting better. So one more time and we should be set. So you can do this one more time. Pump again? Yeah, you can pump again. I got it tight. And then we should be all set. Thank you. And we'll do the driver's side in a moment. Alex, okay. peace. to do the last wheel on the VW buggy blade brake bleeding setup so as you can see it's all set up already got the 
bottle with the brake fluid to test for air bubbles. Wrench is ready to go. Alex, say hi. Hi. This is my helper. I didn't have him for the real wheels, but now he's here to help me with the front. As mentioned before, this is a build this whole summer. We should show them the body one. Show the body when it's done. All right, we need some fluid in the cylinder. Alex, hold this for me. Only the best German brake fluid. That's what's recommended. This is your life on the line. Mm. It's true, buddy. What do you mean? You want some cheap brake fluid in your brake system, then you can't stop. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. You and me gonna be cruising. I think any brake fluid is good. Yeah, you're right. It's only a couple bucks more for a peace of mind. We finished about up to here doing this whole setup, so you use a lot of fluid to get this done. Um, all right, Alex, we'll do the pump in, please. Oh, it's already hard, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. Give it a couple more. All right, hold it down for me. Got it. We're holding it down so the air doesn't come back up into the brake line. Uh, the, another backup is you put the brake fluid with the hose so if air does come back up, instead of air, you suck no more brake fluid. But better be safe. I'm sorry. So let's loosen this up. There's one. Is that good? Yeah, there's some stuff coming out. There you go, see that? I thought that's bad, you said that was bad earlier. I don't know if it's bad, it's just some gunk coming out. Mm. All right, let's tighten it back up. Why can't you reuse this? Um, you can, but we don't need to. We don't know if there was any water in the bottle. You don't want any water in the brake lines because if you get water in the brake lines, it will corrode and with time they will rust out. All right, give us another pump. Oh, see, you went all the way in. That means we released a lot of air. Slow, buddy, slow. So easy. You're gonna have to switch arms, you get in the workout. <laughs> Is it getting harder yet? No, a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's good. Hold it down. Thank you. Let's release it again. Eight millimeter wrench in the front. In the back, I had to use sevens. Bubbles. We've got to keep doing this till the bubbles stop. On the passenger side, we had to do this about four times. I stopped the video early, but we did a couple more times before ending it. Yeah. Tighten it back up. How's the brake, Alex? Did it get loose? Yeah. All right, let's pump again. <laughs> Okay, hold it down. Let's loosen it up again. It's getting dark, so we'll try to get this done quickly. I'm not seeing any bubbles, are you? Uh -uh. Oh, we are good. Tighten it back up. Move this set up now. I'll have to cut the zip tie. It's holding it good, airtight, which we want. So, to give everybody an idea, I had about fluid up to here when I started bleeding the entire system from scratch and it filled up halfway. So, waste a decent amount of brake fluid, but this is just safety on the line. Um, whole setup is complete now back nothing's leaking I had an issue with this guy leaking before so I really had to take it apart clean it out and really tighten the heck out of it to make sure there's no more leaks seems to be holding up good now the back is all clean engine took us some time to restore but everything looks good now thank you I'll try to make another video with the wire harness set up Alex, any questions? If you like Pikachu, 
comment below. Okay, there you go. Question of the day. <laughs>